share a scripture reflection with you today. The text we are considering today is from Matthew chapter 7 verse 12 which says, Treat others the way you would like them to treat you. There you have the law and the prophets. The same text is repeated by Luke in chapter 6 verse 31 where he says, Do to others what you would have others do to you. Whenever we study a scripture text and its application to our life, it is always good to consider the preceding verses or the context as, yes, as it is sometimes referred to. The context in Matthew and Luke are completely different. In Matthew, the preceding verses talk about effective prayer. The Lord is saying, Ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. And then in verse 9 he says, Would any of you give a stone to your son when he asks for bread? Or give a fish, give a snake when he asks for a fish? Bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children. How much more then will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? And then the text we are considering, so treat others the way you would like them to treat you. Brothers and sisters, as we consider the text, text, I sense the Lord asking me, How many good gifts have you received from your Heavenly Father? And are you happy with all that you have received? Then don't you think your brothers and sisters would also like to receive good gifts from you? What are the good gifts we can give to our brothers and sisters, our family members, the rest of the people in our community? Of course, financially resources, our financial help, if and when required. But more than anything else, everybody in this world today needs Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So maybe a word of encouragement, a passage from scripture, a phone call asking the anointing of the Holy Spirit or calling down the blessings of the Lord, I think would be a far more effective gift to give our fellow men in these days of crisis. Now we come to considering Luke's text. In Luke, the preceding verses talk about our behavior towards our brothers and sisters. And the Lord is saying to us, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who treat you badly. He's talking about turning the other cheek. He's talking about walking the extra mile. He's talking about giving without expecting it back. And then he says, do to others what you would have others do to you. As I considered this text, the Lord brought to my mind a memory. The time when I was talking to a friend about the character traits of another lady whom both of us did not like. And the next morning as I sat in prayer, I just could not pray. There seemed to be a wall between my God and me. And when I asked him why this veil came between us, he brought to my mind the previous day's conversation. And I seemed to sense my father asking me, how would you like it if someone molested your son or your daughter? I was stunned. And he went on to say, how do you think your heavenly father feels when one of my own molests his own brother or my sister, where brothers and sisters slander and gossip are spiritual molestations. So this particular text has two aspects, the negative and the positive. The negative is not doing to anybody what you would not like them to do to you. That includes slander, gossip and anything else that you would like, not like to receive from anyone. And the positive is to give them everything that you would like to get. You enjoy getting a compliment? Give people a compliment. You like getting appreciation for your work? Give it to them. And then you say, perhaps, how can I do this? This person has treated me so badly. Of course you can't, nor can I. And that is why the Lord gives us a perfect solution. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 48, where he says, Be ye perfect as the heavenly Father is perfect. He doesn't say strive, he doesn't say try, he says be. Which means, you just be and I will be. How can I just be? 
I can be by being the branch clinging to the vine. I cling to my God and he will pour his spirit into me. And he in me will love the unlovable. He in me will forgive the unforgivable. He in me will console the inconsolable. And he in me will reach out to even the most unreachable. God bless you.